caso Newton Newton forward hmm. interpolation forward I <coughs> now uh, <coughs> establish this Very important in numerical analysis and also in the statistics. So let's start. And if you like, then like. If you dislike, then comment me and subscribe to this channel. So let's start now. First, we draw a Cartesian plot, and here we define a curve uh, y is equal to f x in the interval. In the interval y is equal to f x in the interval. This is a zero is equal to a, and here we'll take b x n equal to b, and we divide this interval into n plus one divisions. So now, if we take x0, the initial value, then we will get y0, the initial value of the dependent variable. If we take x1, then we will get y1, the first of the dependent variable. In this way, when we will take xn, then we will get yn. So, here, there are every difference are equal uh, between the um, division uh, in, in the interval h, in ab, uh, <coughs> to n plus 1 division. So, every interval is equal, every division is equal, equal to h, here the difference always is del del y zero. We know what is the difference of delta delta f zero is equal to f one minus f0 so here this is applicable to the y in this so here we take the <coughs> first a n degree polynomial defined by in this way i x and this is the first constant a0 then we will take another constant a1 and take the variable x minus a0 then a minus and then we will take another question a2 and here we will take x minus a0 into x minus x1 so one thing in this way it will be continued and at last 
will get will continue the class because this is the nth order the polynomial so we get class get a n x minus x0 x minus x1 and continue at the last point <coughs> we get x minus x n minus 1 since the order of the of polynomial of is a polynomial of, polynomial of um, degree x so that's why we have taken the last one, x n minus 1 so there you are getting um, n points uh, n variables and you will get x n the maximum degree of the polynomial now we wish to know a0 a1 a2 that's why we will do some calculation in this way Can be done. We will take i x0 equal to y0, and this is equal to a0. If we will put x0, then we will get just a0. Then a0 is we can be calculated. The 0 of a0 is y0. Now we will put i uh, x1 then it will be denoted by y1 and on the right hand side we will get a0 and plus a1 x minus x0 x1 minus x0 and other terms you are you can do this if we put x1 on the other terms, whole term will be this. Here we will put x1, then it term, this term, the after the, all the terms will be this. So here we will get um, what will be the a0 can be written y0, so it can be uh, further written a1 will be and this will be y1 minus y0, a0 is equal to y0 y1 minus y0 by x1 minus x0 so I have taken x1 minus x0 every interval each so in, the, uh, in the denominator there will be each and the numerator uh, we, we use forward operator forward difference operator this will be delta y0 uh, in this similarly if you will calculate a3 a2 a2 will, will get this way it will be uh, for, forward uh, difference operator second times into y0 by h square so and so on others can be calculated so at last if we calculate a n then a n will be obtained that it will be del what that's over time n times y0 to the power n is to the power so in this way these are calculated now if we put this in the polynomial in this function now what will be just we put values of e0 e1 we will get the first for first interpolation formula which is called Newton interpolation formula so a0 is y0 plus forward defense operator y0 this is the value of e1 by h x minus x0 
a2 have the value we have calculated a2 have value uh, forward defense operator second times y0 by h square x minus x0 into x minus x1 and that attacks can be also used can be also put in this form and at last last term will be forward defense operator n times y n by h to the power n <coughs> n and here will be x minus a is 0 and there we multiply x minus x 0 x minus x 1 x minus x 2 at last x minus x n minus 1 so this is for Newton's forward difference formula interference of formula here we can substitute <coughs> if we substitute here then the uh, form can be written in a very good form if we substitute x minus x0 by h is equal to u or p anything then this uh, form will get a new form y x will be then can be written y0 plus forward difference operator well, one times y0 p this is 0 <coughs> plus forward difference operator second times uh, y0 and here x minus x0 we have taken I've done a mistake here will be there will come two factor I am not sure what this here will come two factor and here will come n factor I have done just a, a0 and a1 if we calculate a2 then here two factor will come we will calculate a3 then a3 factor will come and we will calculate if a n then n factor will come so, we will get this form yeah, here this is y0 by 2 factorial and x minus a0 I have taken h a p, so this will be p and Can be written p minus one. If you calculate what the value of p and p minus p into p minus one, then we will get p into p minus one will be p has the value is this, and p minus one will be. Just P is this 
uh, if you will take p minus 1 p minus 1 will be uh, here I'm using erasing. I'm just uh, calculating p minus one. P minus one will be <coughs> x minus x zero by h minus one. So here it will be further further h x minus x0 plus e, this will be x1. So you can look this, e minus 1 is actually um, x minus x1. So, x minus x1. And this is x minus x0. So, there are two, x minus x0 by h is p, and x minus x0, x1 by h is p, p, p minus 1. There, there, um, this one, uh, there is, that's why we can write P minus P1. The third term will be del cube, uh, delta cube, or difference of it third times y0 by 3 factorial. And this will be u, u y e, sorry, e, p minus 1. Minus two. So in this way, if we continue, then the last term will be the last term will be <coughs> p p minus one p minus two. And last term will be P minus N minus N plus one by N factorial and, and there will be uh, for a difference operator N times y0 y0 so this is the <coughs> new form here phi can be written also x plus e which p h x0 plus p h it is it can be obtained from this x is equal to x0 plus p h so thanks thanks for watching